Hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom time! Welcome back to more Sonic CD. In the last episode, we went to start a speedway and finish things up with our rival Metal Sonic by defeating him. In this episode, we're starting the final zone in the game, Metallic Madness. I'd just like to point out, I really love this song. It's a great song. At first, I didn't really like it that much, but it kind of grew on me. Mainly because of the weird guy singing in the background. I just feel like he doesn't really add much to the situation. Okay, these things, they rotate which blade spins every few seconds, so keep an eye on that. Okay, now this part right here is a jerk. This is the easiest way to, well, technically it's not very easy at all, but as you can see, it's certainly a way to get up to uh, a place where we can use this pass sign. God, I love this music. <laughs> All right, there's another path sign, by the way, up here if you somehow lost the first one already. Okay, right now, this Badnik, kill him. He will be a hassle to you later on if you do not. All right, and now we just use these springs like usual and bounce back and forth in order to go to the past. All right, this is probably the hardest um, robot generator in the game to get, and... This guy certainly isn't helping. Great. You can see what you have to deal with these guys. They catch you and put you into ball form, then it they're really obnoxious. Okay. Now this part, you want to be very careful. Okay, I wasn't... I wasn't counting on that either. No! Not again! Not again! Alright, um... So, I last time I didn't go this way during my practice run of this stage. Yes, I know, I do practice runs of stages in Sonic CD. What am I, four? No, I'm just terrible at Sonic games, and I play like I'm four, so yeah. Alright, be careful with that piston. And also be careful with these things, because they will slice and dice you. Slice and slice! Dice and he dies! Stabity stab stab stab! If you know what that if you know who says that, good for you. Um Okay, not what I wanted to do, but now I think I'm back on the way that I would be going regularly since I'm bad at this. Okay, I know the way from here. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, uh, unlike in wacky workbench, these pistons are not going to help you. They hurt you. Specifically, murder you. So, yeah. If that's a good reason to be careful around them. Alright, um. Right, I want to go down. So, let me go down. Thank you. Thank you, come again. And, oh, right. Okay. Well, let's. I can't believe I made that so easily. Normally, it would take me a lot more to. Make a jump like that, but I guess it's okay since I made it. Yeah, by the way, I really love how this stage looks compared to Wacky Workbench. And by the way, there's the robot generator. We're done here. There's only one robot generator left in the game. Anyways, I, as I was saying, I really like the way this stage looks compared to Wacky Workbench, whereas Wacky Workbench looks more... I don't know, like a factory. This place looks more like a... I don't know, um... I really don't know what I should be saying here. Oh, uh, well... Friggin... Okay. One thing I really don't like about this stage. Springs bounce you into spikes, like, every single damn time, and there's no way you can see where you're gonna go. And it gets really obnoxious. If you don't know what you're doing, like I am. Even though I just practiced this stage off screen a couple minutes ago. And no, 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 no! No, no, no! No! I refuse to go back there! Alright, good. Okay. Uh, there's probably something over there by that bus up, but I'm not wasting time and energy to, get to find out. Alright, now let's jump up here. And if I remember correctly, it should be the my death down here. All right, we done here yet? I think we're just about done. Yep, there we go. 
All right. And that is Act 1. Not so bad, right? Zone 1. Damn, I'll get it one of these days, I swear, guys. Not so bad, right? Well, things are going to get a lot more difficult in Zone 2. Uh, if I remember correctly... Well, I should because I was just doing this a few minutes ago. The... Uh, robot generator isn't as hard to get to in this one. In fact, it's quite easy. But I just remember this stage being really, really evil. Specifically one part. And, okay, I remember. Remember how I want to do this. Okay, go this way. Fail. Technically, you don't need to do the fail part, but... Uh, I seem to do that a lot, so if you want to play like me and fail, go ahead. Alright, we don't want to go that way. We want to go up! Alright, let's try this again. Up to the left, come on! Alright, this jump can be pretty tricky to make. I only made it on a fluke, but... Did I just seriously jump over it? Ugh! Okay, well, that's what I get for not having picked up this game for a while. Yeah, I was recently taking my, uh, break because I had to catch up with stuff. And now, finals are coming up. You figure I would be taking a break now. Well, no, my finals are usually easy, plus... Mm, plus, I hardly really have any. I only have two. One's my Japanese final, which I'm not worried about. Because I'm... I've actually been... That's my one class that I've actually been wanting to be in. And, um, in case you're wondering, this guy is from Sonic 1. This is the Boom Bot, or whatever. I don't know what it's called. I don't, haven't made it that far to Sonic 1. The farthest I ever made it was into Spring Stadium Zone, or whatever they call it. Uh, make sure that you, uh, end up going on the left path here. I think you want to hold left just to make sure that you'll make it. Alright. And speaking of making things... You want to make sure that you make it across here, and up to that spring, because once you get here, look what it is! Yeah! We have made a good future in every zone, and right now it would show that I got the Savior of the Planet achievement, but I already got that off screen because I got that robot generator off screen. Okay, so now all we have to do is clear the level. Sounds easy, right? WRONG! I just remember this level being very unfair. I'm not sure... Then again... I'm not... I'm not really sure. Okay, uh... These things. They switch the position that you are in. Whereas these rings are in the front. If you go on this, you will go behind everything. And... End up back here somehow. So don't you just love game logic? It doesn't matter if we go to the future or not now. Nothing matters anymore, because I'm running into pointless objects. <laughs> right. oh, I thought there'd be something more worthwhile over there, like played out like there was going to be. Okay, those are probably just rings. I don't need any more rings, as you can see. But it's not like that matters anyway, since I'm about to lose them all. Oh. Ah, how surprising. I was really expecting that they were gonna bounce me up into some more spikes. And, oh jeez. Oh, there's no way I can get that! Okay, well, I'm not going that way. Huh. I'm a bit at a loss as to what to do now, considering that I can't... Do I have to... I knew I wouldn't have been able to make that. How did you expect me to make that? Jesus. And yeah, apparently that has a spring effect. Alright, there's another boom bot there. I don't know why it's still here because I destroyed the robot generator. But yeah. Looks like we are just about uh, done here, right? <laughs> nope, we still have yet to come upon the part of the stage I seem to remember the most. And I do not want to talk to you, boom bot. Uh, nope, not here. Come on. I know it's going to happen sooner or later. I can never get around it, okay. Uh, 
Uh, nope. Okay, spin dash charging does not destroy Boombot. Well noted. Right, you keep on seeing those doors with those lasers there, and you keep on figuring, well, how do I get in there? Don't worry, they're gonna make you get in there. At least I think they will. And I am on the verge of dying, which is something I really don't like, which is why I am being very cautious with the steps I take. And really the Oh, right! This thing! You jump on its legs and it walks for you. I almost forgot this thing existed. It's, it's a really cool mechanic. And it looks really cool, too. I like it. It's a bit annoying to use it sometimes, but... At least it's usable. And oh god, okay. That was way too close. I couldn't see where those things were coming from. Okay, now remember what I was saying we we're gonna see it? Well, here it is. It's a shrink ray! We are now tiny Jimmy Sonic and we are adorable! Oh, so cute. I just wanna crush him! Ah. Don't worry, there's a natural instinct for wanting to crush things that are cute. I'm not sure what it is, but it's inhuman instinct to want to do that, so I am perfectly sane by saying I want to crush cute things. Alright, um, I want to go up there. Can I go up there, please? Nope. Um, I wonder what it would be like if I had time, time traveled as mini Sonic. Would, <laughs> would things change, really? Would, would they use a whole different sprite? Okay, uh, alright! Mr. Conveyor Belt, I know you want to be a jerk to me, but I am just trying to make it through the level now that I have finished. Okay. Mr. Conveyor Belt! Thank you! Now! Let's! Do! Stuff! Okay. And are we at the point where we can turn big again yet? I enjoyed my time as Chibi Sonic, but I would like to be big again. Because I want to get through this stage faster. Alrighty. Sun tells me we're almost done, which is good because there is a time limit in, for these stages in case it isn't obvious. We have a 10 minute time limit for every stage, so that would be... It would be wise for you to not get your ass blown up by Boombot. Alright, and big laser, yay, okay. Finally back to regular size now. Ooh, Sonic go down the hole. And I don't want to know what happens if I go this way. I just want to go this way and get things over and done with because I'm pretty sure this is where we finish the stage. Okay, now it looks like we can't do anything here, right? Do 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 and I'm gonna squish his hedgehog now, even though we can't squish him because he's fast. Yeah, so... Be careful here so you can see what exactly you have to do. And with that, I believe we are just about done! Okay! With this, we have guaranteed a good future! And I will meet you guys in the next episode for our final battle against Eggman, Robotnik, the fat guy with the mustache. Laters!